you tell us uh, the story behind Scantech AI? I mean, what was the original vision? How has it evolved? And basically what makes your solution truly stand out compared to others in the security screening space, especially in the eyes of basically your enterprise and government clients? Uh, our, our, our original vision was simple, uh, but it was bold. Uh, we uh, commissioned the company, the technology to change the way security screening is conducted by fusing cutting edge imaging with artificial intelligence, uh, application artificial intelligence. Uh, having worked in the industry for decades, I saw firsthand the limitations of legacy x-ray systems, you know, too many false alarms, too slow, operator fatigue, uh, not enough adaptability for, for different uh, deployments. Uh, we set out to build a platform that not only provides advanced computed tomography imaging, but also learns and adapts on its own. Um, over time, uh, that vision has evolved into a full-scale technology uh, that is an AI-powered uh, fixed gantry CT solution called Sentinel, our trade name, uh, that's already being deployed in high security environments uh, like nuclear facilities. Uh, what truly sets us apart now is that the fusion of real-time volumetric imaging with proprietary AI algorithms um, allows us to develop what's called ray trace biopsy, which allows us to identify things quicker, faster, and more reliably than existing technology that's deployed at checkpoints around the world. Yeah, and uh, diving a bit deeper, you've referenced a major North American a nuclear client. Uh, can you kind of share an update on how that project is progressing? Are there any specific reasons the clients remain unnamed in the public disclosures? And beyond that engagement, what's the scope of your ongoing business development efforts in the nuclear and critical infrastructure markets? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, let me be real clear. We're, we're in the security sector. Um, uh, you, you don't want the bad actors to know what you're doing. So Usually this type of information is classified or proprietary. You just don't want um, uh, the guys to know exactly the functionality of what's at your checkpoint. Uh, that said, um, uh, the nuclear power plants around the world represent probably the highest consequence of a terroristic attack. It's uh, uh, if, a, if a plane is uh, blown up, your 300 people die. A nuclear power plant represents millions of people. And not only that, hundreds of years of not being able to use that real estate, that land. It's, uh, think Chernobyl. Uh, so um, uh, this uh, North American utility, understanding that threat, went out to find the uh, best available technology. They brought test kits into our facility as well as the facilities our competitors tested our system and at the end of the day, decided that our system did the best in solving their particular problem and identifying the threats they thought were risking the, the safety of the people around the nuclear power station. I think this selection uh, speaks volumes to the credibility of our technology because there's no uh, more important infrastructure uh, to protect around the world than a nuclear power plant. Yeah, and Brad, do you have any notes? Yeah, I'll just I'll just say that uh, you know having operated in these markets uh, for for a long time, uh, as Dolan has the the size and the growth potential uh, in the critical and commercial infrastructure security screening market sector it really dwarfs all the other ones dwarfs aviation dwarfs border security. Now that's not to say that we're ignoring those other sectors. We're we're, we're doing well in pursuing our cert certifications there, but. Uh, um, but working with commercial entities for th at this point in in the in the company's uh, life life cycle uh, offers a much shorter sales cycle and an accelerated path to building the credibility of the technology uh, and the stability and the reputation of the company, which is uh, which is really our 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 number one focus at this point.